right. All the dash panel stuff is back together. Everything looks good. Everything's in its place. All this stuff here. There's a tin right back behind this panel. This panel comes off. These little clips right here uh, to hold the cables. They come off real easy. There's a screw on the other side. Cable comes out. There's a uh, knee support bracket right here. Two tens. You can see all that stuff when you take it off. It's it's really simple. There's that's pretty self-explanatory. You take this off. You take this off. A pillars come out. I take off this molding right here, or at least up and out of the way, so that I can gain access. And the panels come off easier when they are like that. Um, the only last thing that you have, and this is has to be done in order to take the dash out. So this ten here, and that ten right there. This is underneath the wiper assembly. Those two tens have to come out, otherwise the dash will not come out. Those two tens right there hold the back of the dash in uh, so that there's no vibration. This cowl assembly right here for the wiper, all there are is 12s. Um, and this whole assembly right here will come up. The wiper to train assembly is two tens, three tens, two tens, I believe. And it comes off. This cowling right here is nothing but. Uh, be four or six push pins and it pops out and then your wiper arm assembly is 15s take those off all this stuff comes out easy access plus it also gives me that access to get to the H block and the heater core hoses so this stuff has to come off regardless but definitely has to come off in order to get those two tens uh, let's see what else, what, else, what else oh be careful though you do want to make sure that you take off the where to put it that's right here somewhere the uh, washer nozzle hose is going to sit right here uh, you'll make sure you take it off before you start taking out that assembly so you don't want to snap off any t handle connector or anything like that uh, but vehicles up and running pressure to hold where it's supposed to uh, it's already been up and running for a couple of minutes auto mode's good uh, manual mode is good so I'm going to finish putting this cowl assembly back together and let it run for about another five minutes and burn off any excess coolant that spilt in the process of taking the heater hoses and stuff off. So other than that, she's good to roll. Any questions, comments, just feel free to let me know.